Hey guys, welcome back to Umix Cocktails. I'm super excited. This week, we're gonna do the Gimlet. We're gonna get started with some gin cocktails just to really introduce the spirit. So the Gimlet traditionally is a navy cocktail. When citrus was rationed on the ships a couple centuries ago to prevent scurvy from the British East India Trading Company, it was rationed on the ships, but Dr. Thomas D. Gimlet, he actually made the rations more palatable for the soldiers by adding gin to it. So the Navy soldiers started adding gin, and that's where the traditional gimlet recipe was born. I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, I squeezed it just earlier. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, I portioned it out right here on the side. And then of course, we're gonna do two ounces of some London dry gin, okay? So as you see, it's a sour base. This is essentially a gin sour. It's just called Gimlet. One of the stories that's most credible with the Gimlet is that it was named after Dr. Thomas D. Gimlet. He was the one that originally had the idea to ration out gin with the lime. So we're gonna add ice or shaker. We're gonna shake it up, okay? All right, and then we have had, so traditionally the gimlet is served in a coop, as you may see at your local bar, but today we're gonna to be serving it over the rocks, okay? So just strain it into, the, into your glass. And then traditionally garnish with a lime wheel. And guys, there you have it. That is the classic gimlet. Oh, that's great. So, again, it's a sour base. Think of your classic daiquiri, but with a London dry gin. So it plays really nicely with the citrus. I can see why the Navy soldiers were really uh, fond of the idea of mixing it with gin. So traditionally, of course, this is the gimlet that we know of today. Thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support. Again, we're gonna be shooting from my house from now on because this is just uh, transitioning. I feel like a lot of you have missed, you know, the, what it really means to mix cocktails at home. So, to that guy's cheers, thank you, and I'll see you next week.